We're here in beautiful Italy, uh, test ride the 2019 Ducati Scrambler Icon. Now, you'd have to be a pretty miserable person to not admit this is a hell of a lot of fun to ride. And just getting back, it, it is a massively enjoyable bike, but is it better than the previous model? Cosmetically, uh, it's, it looks a slightly more finished bike. We've got these more beefy side panels. We've got an engine painted in black. We've got self-canceling LED indicators. We've got this a uh, new headlight with uh, LED daytime running light and the, the cross across the front, which um, kind of mirrors the tape used to put over headlights. We've got new suspension. Now the suspension, it's the same externally, but uh, it feels like it's slightly harder sprung, but less damped, so it's softer. That makes it less crashy, so definitely a more comfortable ride. We did find a couple of times, uh, if you hit a bump in a corner quite hard, you can, you can deck things out. And actually the, the exhaust goes down before the um, pegs, but, Really got to be pushing quite hard to do that. And it's still a really enjoyable bike to, to throw around in corners, really confidence inspiring. It doesn't matter what experience you've got, you'll still find this bike a really great ride. The engine is the same, about 73 brake horsepower. Nothing's really changed in there from the previous one. Nothing really had to, it's an air-cooled motor, really nice and simple. And that's one of the real um, pleasures about this bike is it's such a simple machine. But there are a couple of cool extras. We've got a hydraulic clutch, it's not really any lighter than the original one, but it's definitely smoother. And I think in, in cities, if you're just on that clutch all the time, you're going to find it more pleasurable thing to use. And what I think is brilliant is seeing cornering ABS on it. It's got a Bosch 9.1 cornering ABS, and it's that inertial measurement unit that allows for the self canceling LED indicators that do see as you've kind of come around the corner. They're not perfect, but they are good. Cornering ABS, brilliant safety feature. I'd pay more for something like that. This bike's coming in at 8,150 in yellow, 8,250 in orange. Now, when it launched in very early 2015, it was just over seven grand. Now, we've seen all bikes go up. I think considering the work that's gone into this and the extras that you've got, it's kind of a fair increase. Certainly, if you're on a PCP deal and you love your scrambler, this is definitely a worthy upgrade.